that form of text to be able to have this kind of form of form. I had all intentions last time of doing it every week, but then life got in the way and I wasn't very organised. But I've already interviewed five mediums, um, so we're okay for the next five weeks. Yesterday, I shared with you the interview with Tracy Ann. She was the first person I interviewed a few months ago, and I just wanted to reshare that with you. And as you know, you know Tracy's my cousin. She's an exceptional medium, um, and continues to work really well. Uh, so the interview for today that um, we'll be sharing you is uh, an interview with Tracy Jones. Uh, some know her as TJ. Uh, Tracy is an absolutely exceptional medium. She has worked for spirits for longer than I actually realised, to be honest with you. And uh, she is very honest and very direct with the information that she will give you. And she'll go above and beyond to help people. Uh, I've worked with Tracy. I've been lucky enough to work with her a few times, doing several hundred. <laughs> loads and loads of charity events um, but we've had an absolutely blast driving there and driving back. Uh, she is a fantastic medium. If you get the chance to check her out please do. Her page is From Spirit to Spirit. Please enjoy the interview and as usual if you have any questions just shoot me a message. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hi Tracy, it's Sue. Hiya Sue, long time no hear I'm okay, Yeah, I'm not too bad actually. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing alright love, yeah. I, I'm going to be a man the first time. <gasps> oh my god, congratulations. When did you? Um, November. I'm oh. having a granddaughter. Oh, that's amazing. I know. I know, I'm already in love. Oh, I can, um, I can see you as a yeah. nana. I can see you fussing as a nana. <laughs> oh, thank you, love. She cost me a fortune, but uh, she's going to be well worth it. Of course she is. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's great oh, news. Oh, well, thanks for agreeing to do the interview. More than welcome, darling. You're, you're doing amazing, you are. Oh, fairness. oh, bless. You really are, and you're so busy. You know, fair play, you're eight by love, and I'm, you should be proud of yourself. Oh, well, you thank really you. Should. That's so kind. Uh, I just I just enjoy it. And people always, you know, I obviously you know how busy life is and how much I've got on. But yeah, if for me, it's... Too. Yeah, but I think everyone has stuff on and everyone's got a busy life. You just prioritise what's important. And everything that I do in terms of the spirit stuff... It's it, I enjoy it. So I sort of like say, well, you know, what do you do to unwind? You might go to a pub or you might go to the cinema. For me, I like doing shows and events or reading. So it, it's not a huge thing, but... Yeah, I know yeah. you're really passionate about it and you've got your little shop now when you're reading. Yeah, you'd have to pop up for a cup of tea. It's lovely. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know where you get your energy from, love. You'll have to say... Sugar. <laughs> Cups of tea and cake. <laughs> Oh, bless you. So, um, is the family okay? Yeah, everyone's fine. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll gossip about that with you after I stop recording. So, <laughs> um, so I've just finished um, with one interview. What, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to interview everybody and uh, do the YouTube videos and then upload them one week at a time. So, the first question for you is to discuss how... Um, you became involved with spiritualism, uh, your story basically of how you, you, it pushed you into working with spirit. Right. Well, I had my first, what I would call, proper spiritual experience when I was five. Um, when I was seeing loads of spirit faces and all, but that was quite a, a sad time in my life. Okay. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I don't know how, you know, I, I, we were not the church going family or anything, but I just, that's when I believed in God. And I believe, that's when I believed in God. And I just knew that, um, you know, um, well, angels, God yeah. and angels at five years of age. So was then, that when you said you're going through a traumatic time? Um, yes. Then um, when I was 22, 
again, another traumatic time, but that's my life. <laughs> um, um, I was 22 years of age and um, somebody came through um, and it was my brother-in-law um, who sadly had um, taken his own life, bless him, and I only ever met him twice. But his mum used to talk to me about him um you know, every time I seen her, um, you know, we would spend hours talking about him. And I wasn't into anything, so to be honest with you, I, I was a bit of a scaredy cat. I wouldn't watch yeah. horrors, you know, anything to do with ghosts <laughs> then, this, this you know. so familiar. <laughs> Yeah, anything to do with ghosts or, or anything, I'd be petrified. And um, I can always remember it was a it was a Sunday, and I could just see him. My husband and his brother, his brother, my husband at the time was um, working um, night shifts. So I was in the house and I could just see him sat on the settee twiddling his thumbs. Now, bearing in mind, I had only met this um, young lad twice and that was just, you know, not even in his company, so to speak, like ships in passing night. And um, he started telling me things and I, I thought I was going, you know, around yeah. the bend. So he was giving me information about his... Um, you know, um, things that his mum had not talked to me about. And um, he was asking to pass it on to his mum. And I, I passed it on to his mum the following day. And I was like, you're going to think I'm, you know, mad. But, you know, and I told her and she couldn't believe it. So um, anyway, to cut a long story short, um, I was seeing him all the time and he was passing on messages. Then I started seeing um, other spirit people. And then in the end, it got a little bit scary for me, I'm not going to lie, yeah. um, because, I, you know, I was new. I, I didn't know anything. I didn't know about opening and closing. Or, you know, I was okay with um, my brother-in-law at the time coming through. I thought, you know, but anybody else, I, I couldn't handle it at the time. Anybody, yeah. You know, and um, over a period of time, um, I, you know, I befriended um, a beautiful lady called Ray Hall, um, who later on became, um, you know, one of my best friends, who sadly passed over. She was a working medium, and um, she said, you know, you, you've got it, you've got, you've got it, Grace, you've got to use it. And I was like, oh, I don't want it, I don't want it, <laughs> as you do. And um, over, it took 10 years, I would say, for me to get my head around everything. But um, in the meantime, I started working um, up the valleys, doing the churches with her. Um, and always doubted myself, thinking this is my yeah. imagination. Like, you know, I must be so good at um, reading people, or even guessing. though... <laughs> yeah, they might be, like, 15 rows behind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, guessing. Guessing. Every, or, or, I, I went through a stage of thinking that everybody was just too polite and didn't want to upset me, so they were just agreeing to everything that I said. <laughs> yeah. And, you, you know, when you beat yourself up, don't you? Yeah, you do. You know, you beat yourself up. And um, anyway, um, I took myself then to a, um, a spiritual church for myself. Um, even though I was serving them, I took myself to a spiritual church in Newport. And, um, God, I'm going back 30-odd years ago. Yeah. And it was quite difficult back then because um, you had a lot of the, the older mediums, the old school mediums. Yeah. And back then, you know, spiritualism, it was a lot more stricter. And um, it, it really was. And it was all about philosophy. And I didn't have a clue. Yeah. You still get those churches, mind. Oh, yeah. 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 So um, I, anyway, I went there. And, um, you know, when I was like sat there waiting for a message and, and what have you, and I started to join that church. And um, it became there, and I find it very difficult. The oldest, not, not everyone, but the older school medium sort of struggled. Because don't forget, at the time I was like early 20s. So I was like one of the youngest mediums 
on the circuit around this area at that time. So it was very difficult. Um, It wasn't um, as supportive as it can be now. It was very difficult to sort of find your place, if that makes sense. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, you know, you know, and um, I don't get me wrong. I looked up to them all, and I used to sit there and think, oh, "I want to be like her, or I want to be like him, yeah. <laughs> or you know, you, you know, as you do." Or I wouldn't mind a bit of that. And um, then in the end, I thought, you know what? I can't be no different. I can I can only be myself. So um, yeah, and it, it all went from there. And then in 1999, God, that seems ages ago, 1999, I opened um, a spiritual church with my friend, Ray, and we took it into the millennium. And we had it, um, well, we run it together for about five years before she sadly passed away. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, that's my journey. I was started off. And that's the common theme from the, all the other mediums that I'm speaking to. You know, we, the, the ego says, oh, I want to work this way, I want to do that this way. But as soon as we uh, accept that we have no control, <laughs> we just have to do what spirit wants us to. That's um, it. The easier the information flows. Yeah, you're spot on, love. I mean, at the time, you know, um, you know, I said, oh, God, she said a beautiful prayer there. Or what a lovely philosophy, because it was a lot more philosophy back then. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I think I want a bit of that, a bit of this. But in the end, it, you know, it wasn't me. I, I just, you know, it, I, I can't explain it. It just wasn't no. me. I tried it, don't get me wrong. You know, I would write lovely philosophy down and I'd try it and I was like, it's not me. This is not how I'm yeah. supposed to be. And I, you I know? think, you know, knowing the way you're supposed to work is the, the best part of the journey, isn't it? Because it complements the, um, the senses, the clear senses that you'll be working with, you know? Um, yeah, and not only that, so I think, you know, we've all got the gift, every one of us yeah. uh, um, are capable, we really are, but I think, you know, um, when your guides do come forward, they accept you for who you are, mm. and they love you for who you are, of course, you grow with them, but you still have to be yourself. Yeah. I, I tend to do, um, when it comes to philosophy in churches or things like that, I tend to just talk about my own experiences because I think anybody can pick up a book and recite it and say, this is what we believe. But unless you've gone through it or experienced it yourself, then it's not really a connection, if that makes sense. I, yeah, do you know what? I totally agree with you on that, love, because to me, um, you know... When when you listen to a medium share their experiences or, um, you know, situations, whether it be, you know, uplifting or sad, and it, it t- I think it touches you more because you can relate mm. or you know someone that can relate to what that medium have said. So it's, it's more about life, life as now. Yeah, and it feels more honest that way, doesn't it? Definitely, so I you, agree you with you. You said you see spirit. So, what other um, ways does spirit connect with you? Right. Oh God, love. We and I, I, I know how it works, <laughs> but I just know a lot of people who are listening won't know. So, um, like, I know obviously they change, and some days uh, one thing is stronger than another. But generally, which is the way that you tend to work? Well, back in the early days, I got to be honest, you know, um, as much as I was um, nervous and fearful, so to speak, I won't deny it, because I'm human. Um, I, I I had it all then, so I got to be honest, my, mm. my seeing and my hearing was absolutely spot on. And where now, um, as I've got older, and um, you know, and through through the years with experiences, life becomes more difficult. Um, you know, with families and mm-hmm. illnesses, and I think egg spirit work. Um, like I can see spirit. Don't get me wrong, but maybe say you know, I got a lot on, lot on my mind. Just to say, well, then maybe I'm not seeing as clear, or they're not able to work with me as well. Yeah. So then they'll sharpen up. Um, another of my senses, yeah. whether that be my um, my clear sentient 
or, or my hearing, clear audience. Mm. So, you know, um, I would say at the moment, um, it's like going up a ladder, back down the ladder, back up two rungs, back down the yeah. rung, because we're always learning. And with whatever's going on in our lives, maybe we're not um, firing um, as good as we could be. Yeah, because of um, material life. Does that make sense? Hundred percent. I completely agree with you that um, when things aren't great with us, um, emotional, mental wealth, health, I should say, um, that's when it's not always as easily to connect, or your vibrations aren't raised enough to connect. And I know from my experience, when I've gone through something, it's almost as if. Well, they they know, 100% they know what's going on. I mean, the, the, the classic story that I tell people is that before my dad passed, I remember looking in my diary and thinking, oh, I've got nobody booked in for March and April. And at that time, it was very unusual because I was incredibly busy. And I thought, oh, you know, what's meant to be will be. But then, obviously, my dad died at the beginning of March. They knew. They knew. So they and, and what I just free. found yeah. was so interesting was that nobody messaged. So for about three months, I had no uh, no phone calls or texts about a charity show or readings or group readings, and I was getting charity show requests daily. And um, I ended up going to a friend of a friend's house to talk to her about my beliefs in the afterlife, and I ended up giving her a reading from her dad. And the reading I gave her was almost what I needed to hear from my dad. And right. the, the drive from her house to mine is about five minutes. And as you probably do, I turn my phone off when I'm working. I turned it back on when I got home. I had 16 calls and then my phone didn't stop again. So wow. they, I, I've, I trust that when I'm not busy, it's for a reason. Where, exactly. You so. know, and when I'm really busy, I, I thank Spirit for the gift of being able to work. And it's sort of like that knowledge of, you know, what's, you can't control it. It's, it's what's meant to be. So if you're not in an emotionally strong place, I don't think, you know, you, you're given readings as effectively anyway. No, I, and like you said, it's, um, I'm at the stage now, um, I mean, I've been doing this 33, 33 34 years, wow. and I'm at the stage now where, um, you know, they know, and if, you know, and you're, you're meant to be where you're meant to be, Absolutely. and, you know, and they'll, they'll guide the people to you, or they'll guide you where you need to be, and if um, you feel like, oh, it's all gone quiet, there's always a reason whether you need yeah. to rest, or whether they can they can see which they can that maybe um it's not going to be a good time for you know for that person mm. you know and I, I i believe that and i always have yeah. trust and faith in spirit 110 percent. and it's hard isn't it because i'm i am quite i will admit quite a controlling person i like <laughs> i like controlling aspects of my life and knowing what's happening and being quite organized so it's quite hard to sort of you've free. got no chance of controlling no, what you it don't. Wants to and i think that's been my hardest journey of the hardest part of my journey is just to sort of say all right okay what will be will be <laughs> exactly and not only that but then you you know i think it's a learning curve for you as well just to you know mm. loosen the reins now and again and have yeah. trust in faith like you said what will be will be and, and that's sort of like impacted on other parts of my life you know there are other things that i'm not so stressy about because of the lessons that spirit have taught me, you know, and I think that's true of everybody. It's wonderful, so it's wonderful, and they, you know, at the time, we, you know, we we think, oh, you know, like you said, um, you know, I'm sure we thought. I mean, I throw my dummy out the pram so to speak <laughs> over the years, and I got, you know, no shame in saying so. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm human, but they know what's best for us. Yeah. They do, and there's always something to be learned, whether it is from a private reading to someone else. Like you said, the words you gave someone was what you needed to hear. Absolutely. So it's, it's wonderful, in it? So. Yeah, it is. So going on about how wonderful it is, what's your most um, memorable or inspiring reading that will always stay with you? 
oh god I've, oh, I know there's, there's <laughs> so many um, you know I'm laughing I've got a, you know there's funny ones um, you know there's so many um, yeah, tell, heart us, tell us a funny one because I, I know what you're like I've worked with you before so I know <laughs> I know the capers you'd get up to so <laughs> Um, the most memorable one, I would say, um, you know, and I'm going back years ago, many years ago, um, I was doing readings at my home at the time, and thankfully, my son was um, home, and he was upstairs, thankfully, and I had a gentleman come into my home, and I was doing him a reading. But, you know, I've got a wicked sense of humour, so yes. I really am. I, I can only be me and sometimes a laugh or, you know, um, maybe uh, things are a little bit um, not appropriate, but, you know, not that someone's paying far from it. But so this one time I was reading this gentleman and um, I could see a chicken running up and down my kitchen. So, I, you know, I dismissed her in the beginning and then I said to him, um, you know, I can see this chicken and it's running up and down my kitchen. And God love him, he did get upset, you know, and I, I did feel for him. And um, then he brought out his phone oh, no. <laughs> and um, he showed me, oh, my God, there had to be about 16, 18 pictures of chickens. Please tell me you didn't speak to a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, on my life, right, of chickens. And um, the, it was, you know, it was about 16, 18 pictures of chickens, not all different chickens. Oh. It was like maybe three chickens, but oh over different photographs. And um, he, he asked me if I could point the chicken out. Well, I couldn't, so. Yeah, and I was thinking, is this man being serious with me? Or is he winding me up? Oh, my God. And um, the last photograph, he had um, there was a photograph. I couldn't make it out. I could make a chicken out. And he was holding it at the end of the arm. And it was in the fridge. Yeah, not the chicken. The, the, <laughs> the, fridge door, <laughs> the fridge door was open. Oh and the gosh. chicken was... Uh, you know, his face and beak was in the fridge. And he okay. said to me, he said to me, he's um, choosing one of his grapes. And I sat there and I was thinking, oh, my God, am I going to get out of this one then? Oh, no. And my imagination was running wild. And I said, well, I'm so sorry. I don't know which one of the three of your chickens, you know, I am sorry, um, you know, and he, and he said, you know, um, he was really passionate, him and his mum loved the chickens, mm. and I could not myself, and um, I found myself saying, you know, do you eat them? <laughs> I couldn't, I could not myself, so, and, you know, he was mortified, and, um, it, you know, he was like, no, we're vegetarians, and I, you know, I couldn't apologise, and I said, my brain, like, you know, when he goes to the supermarkets to eat chicken, not the chickens that are passed, well, by the time um, the conversation, I dug myself into a massive <laughs> hole, and uh, I've never seen him since. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, but in a way, you know, I was thinking, I'm so glad my son's upstairs because I didn't know where this was going. Do you know what I mean? But that just goes to show it can be any connection, a, a two spirits, a love connection with anything, you know, even a chicken. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean you know, I've given him, you know, uh, uh, the messages and, you know, at the end, you know, I just said, uh, you know, I can see this chicken. And that's, <laughs> that's what he came for. To and be honest it. with you. But then that's evidence of spirit around him, so that's what he needed. Yeah, and I mean, you know, he loved his chickens, you know, and <laughs> I, I get that, but at the time, that's the first time I've ever come across anybody like that. And, um, yeah. you know, to get, see someone emotional over their chicken and maybe not as emotional over a loved one that comes through, but we all make difference. So. That's the way he wanted it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love the chicken yeah. story. <laughs> So, um, so I know, uh, obviously, you said in the beginning you're going to be a nana soon. So, well, congratulations. Um, oh, thank you, my darling. What, what else do you so have much. planned for the future? Um, I've got, oh, well, because of lockdown and everything, love, you know, we're only just starting to get yeah. it very well. But I got an event coming up now with other mediums um, for, with Chris Allen's church. Okay. Which is, at the three penny bit come brown and that's a chat um that's um eight mediums working 
and so I'm looking forward to doing that and um, I, I'm very lucky so because Spirit will bring people towards me that maybe may need um, charity work or um, you know will point me in the right direction so yeah. everything's left up to Spirit I know. at the moment oh, well, that's, good. that's good for you well, you know. well, thank you for your time. It's been great talking to you. Oh, thank you, Sue. I hope I'm bored, you love. Oh, you haven't. You know. I, I love chatting to you. And you've got the best stories and the wicked stories as well. So, <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, my darling. And, um, you know, and I wish you all the best in um, what you're doing because you deserve it, my love. Oh, bless your heart. Well, thank you very much. Take care. Take care, babe. <laughs> bye. You. Bye now, bye. Thank you for watching the video with Tracy. I'm sure you agree that it was a really insightful and fun way to spend some time. Uh, you can follow Tracy on her Facebook page, which is From Spirit to Spirit, and all her contact details are on there. Please uh, press the bell button to receive notifications for when more videos are being uploaded, and we will speak to you next week. Take care.